and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and I've been sitting here mixing paint and asking what would I like to paint? What colours would I like to use? What colours would I like to play together today? Um, what style would I like to paint in? And all sorts of questions like that. And you know, some days it doesn't actually come together quite as you thought it was going to. Sometimes you don't actually get the answers that you would have liked to have heard. But finally, these colours jumped out at me. And so when I asked them, okay, so what would you like to do? How would you like to play together? I got this picture of an open dirty cup pour. Hmm. Um, with bits pulled out the side. Now, one thing I've learned about doing this is you need to cut them quite high. Otherwise, if your paint reaches the top, it starts to just drag and you just get this smeary colour. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You've just got to be aware that that's what's going to happen. So even if you're doing little tiny ones, you still need to take them up nice and high. So that they don't do that drag thing. Now, I'm just, this is a, re, a, a compostable plastic cup. So it's cutting quite easily, which is cool, without smashing. Some plastic cups smash and it becomes really quite bizarre. So the way I've placed it is so that the big holes kind of go out to the corners and the little holes go out to the sides. So let's see. They're not perfect, by the way. I haven't done a great job of getting totally equi equidistant. So let's see what we're going to do. What colours am I using? Um, I'm using titanium white. This is the Pesta Resistance. This is my new colour. I've never bought a purple for acrylic pouring before. I've always mixed my own. And uh, this is violet. Let's see how well is that colour coming through. There you go. In the side of the side of the cup you can see oh you could until i tilted it there we go that's better um and i dried some off and it does dry very dark look at that but it does seem to have some translucency to it so i'm gonna put that with the white so that we get to see all the different variations of color then i'm going to use my phthalo blue because again it dries dark but when it's with white it makes a very very beautiful color and then i'm going to be using my crimson red which um it's looking rather thick actually this one's got some silicon in it but i've stirred it lots so I'm not sure how well that's going to work and i need to put some more water in it because it's still a bit thick which is really annoying let's just thin that down now both the phthalo blue and the violet and the white actually have all just been mixed. So and I'm I've got them all mixed reasonably thick. And I think reasonably evenly thick. So let's get started. And I'm just gonna pour as close to the center as possible make it a dirty cup pour ah 
before we start I'm going to get rid of that big lump that just fell out of my white where did that go look at this look at that big hoary lump okay always keep a box of tissues or some scrap material beside you to clean your mess <laughs> now how did I have that sitting just like that is that centered ish so let's start with the purple and a bit more white Oh, look at that colour. <gasps> Yummy. Now, one thing you need to remember when you're pouring is um, that because you've got the white medium in there, you are also going to your colours look in the paint pot and on the wet painting a lot draw, a lot brighter and a lot lighter than they will dry. I think we're back to purple now. <laughs> this is fun! Had an interesting conversation with somebody um, on the comments of one of my videos recently and she totally was having an interesting point of view about she spends hours and hours and hours painting with a brush and's never been paid more than fifty dollars for a painting that takes her 14 days what colour we have to do blue? And she was getting quite upset about the fact that I do these paintings and people pay for them. And I said to her, well, what would it take for you to receive more for your paintings? Please, guys, just be aware that other people are choosing different things. Than what you've been choosing maybe you've got a point of view about money maybe you've got a point of view about artists and never recognized in their lifetime or struggling artist or any points of view like that they can really screw up your capacity to sell your paintings so um what i would love to invite you to do as I sit here and look at whether or not I need more paint um, is ask yourself if I is my painting worth more if it was promoted by someone other than me um, I totally get that I could have my paintings in major galleries around the world and be charging lots and lots of money for them both my brushwork and my pouring and I haven't chosen that I haven't chosen to create um, whatever would create that I'm just gonna put some more purple and white in there and then I'm gonna call it done actually question then being should I just leave it white and have a space in the middle to write something? Because this month is Pink Ribbon Month, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and so Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook Group Challenge this month is Pink Ribbon. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave that white there and stretch it out. And see if we can create something a little bit greater so I'm just going to grab a piece of cardboard so that when I lift this up 
I can move it away without dripping. Okay. So that's all the paint I'm going to put on there. So technically what I'm doing here is not making a painting, but making the frame for some words. <laughs> Let's give it another... Oops. Now when you're using your torch, you're just moving it regularly, not putting the flame on the paint. You don't want to burn the paint, you're just warming it. And by warming it, the silicon rises up to the top, so do the air bubbles. The air bubbles pop, the silicon makes pretty, and you're good to go. Now our purple seems to have disappeared. It's all hiding. I wonder if we can find it. Just going to straighten it out that way. And bring it back. Stretch it out that way. And bring it back. Stretch it out to the corner. And as that runs down the side, I'm going to just give it something to run on to try and get that corner. I don't want to use a corner catcher because I don't actually want let's just do it that way bring it back bring it back got some lovely cells happening Hmm. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, when I look at this, and I'm looking at the topic of breast cancer, the word that pops up for me is love. Love yourself, love your body, love your life. And I am... Um... Oops, I dribbled in my red. Look at this. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> drip, drip. Okay. Let's just pop some air bubbles. As I said, these some of these paints have only just been mixed, so that's why there's a lot of air bubbles. Okay, so oops, oh, sorry. I'm going to turn it around that way. And just 
Just dipping into my red pot. I'm making making love to my painting, baby. <laughs> How cool is that? First time I've ever done lettering and it's fitted. <laughs> and by picking out the little blots that had fallen into my red, I've got a little bit of colour in there as well. We've got the silicon from the red. Look at all that cells coming through on that red there. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> uh, let me get you down and show you up close. There we go. Okay. Look at those cells in the love. Cellular love, baby. Love your cells. I do like this. And that purple's really pretty. I'm interested to see how it dries. Look how pretty that purple is. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love the message. And I love all of you. How does it get any better than that? All right, guys, I'm going to just move this aside and let's have a look and see. Try not to tilt it too much. Let's have a look at these bits under here. Definitely some interesting colors. Lots of red. I put a lot of red in there. You know what I like? I quite like these two dots here. Might make some earrings out of those. What else have we got? I have ordered more cabochons. They are on their way, but they have not arrived yet. You know what? I'm just going to do two, those two little earrings and leave the rest. So let me pop you back up on the thing and let's do that. Okay, so I have my little incy wincy little cabochons on their toothpicks on their blue tack. And uh, if you want to know how to do this or more information about how to set them or anything like that, there's a link in the description of this video that talks you through the process and um, there's also links in the video uh, description below about how to um, like where to find these on on Amazon you can buy them on most um, online ordering places like wish and stuff but the amazon links are an affiliate link so when you order through amazon using that link i get like four percent or something and it costs you no extra so i'd really highly appreciate it if you're gonna buy through amazon you use my link all right so i've got those stuck into some this is just flower what's it that I put a tissue over to make it look a little bit more presentable and I'm just going to leave them drying and I will show you them when we get back because I will be showing you this beautiful beauty when it's dry in three 
two, one. Ta-da! I love this piece. <laughs> I really do. I I think it's cool. I do, I do, I do. I think it's absolutely yummy. I love the way that this violet has come out when it's mixed with the white. But I do, do want to show you how just how dark it is when it's not mixed with anything. Check out how dark that gets. It's kind of very similar to the um, phthalo blue or Prussian blue or whatever that blue is. I can't remember. What did I use? Anyway, <clears throat> it's very dark when it's dry. Um, but when it's transparent across a white, it's really, really yummy. Um, I say transparent across a white because if you look over here where it's actually mixed with the white, it becomes a little bit muted, um, not so, not quite so dynamically yummy, but look at these cells, aren't they yummy? Yummy, 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 yummy. Oh, I like it. I do, I do, I do, I do. Mmm. So, and the word love has come out really well as well. I like it. I, I just like it. I like the whole thing. <sighs> what else is possible? And let's have a look at the earrings. I haven't glued them in. I've just placed them onto their little trays. But you guys keep asking, what does that look like when they're in? So there you go. They, um, let me just pick them up so that you can. Shadowing caused by the tray. Go to it's so pretty, randomly pretty. They are definitely not identical twins, but they do tone together, they do. I like them. I'd wear them. <laughs> but I love this. This is super cool. Okay, guys. So if you would like to buy yourself some of these earring cabochons um, with the pendants, the, um, the link will be in the description. The, um, of course, the earrings and the painting are for sale if anyone would like to put their hand up really quickly and say me um and what else is possible obviously the painting needs a couple of weeks to cure and then i'll seal it um but if you purchase it before i seal it you get a choice as to whether you want it gloss or matte um and it's about $25 shipping around the world so uh, yeah what else is possible what what would you choose would you choose to have it in your home um, I'm thinking about putting together a calendar for next year do you think that's a good idea let me know in the description right yes calendar please or something like that um, yeah, I think I've got enough 8 by 10s to get a really cool selection of um, for a 12 month calendar. So I think that would be fun. If you would buy one, let me know in the description below, in the comments below. <clears throat> anyway, 
I adore you guys and I will see you in the next video which will be a um, an update video. I think it's almost snowing. I love this time of year. It's supposed to be spring and you get these freezing cold rainy days. <laughs> It was sunny the other day. Remember when we were live? Ah, oh, how does it get any better than this? Anyway, I adore you. Have fun. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.